Have you ever wondered what we can learn from the circuses about the laws of nature? Let's say that you have a science exam at school that day. Instead of handing you a paper and a pencil, your teacher takes you to a circus. Is that so absurd? Well, come to think of it, not so much. Unless your teacher asks you to repeat the acrobatic moves to pass the test, of course. Now, that would be absurd. And also against the law. As a matter of fact, circuses are one of the best places to observe the concepts of force and motion. These two concepts are not only the pillars of exciting acrobatic shows, but also two key concepts in classical physics. Physics is a very important branch of science that helps us explain how the world and the universe works. Motion is simply a change in position of an object. But in order to understand how it works on a bigger scale, we need to understand the effects that initiate the motion. We call these effects force. Nope, we're not talking about strength. Please clear the stage. Learning about the types of motion will help us understand how the forces act on them. In this video, we can observe the relationship between forces and motion while we enjoy the acrobatic shows. This will also help us get prepared for the next show where we learn more about the force. Let's get back to our seats. The show is about to start. There are many types of motion, but these three are the most common ones we see around us. Translatory motion. Motion towards one direction is basically what translatory motion is all about. Motion in a straight line is a type of translatory motion. Motion that changes direction due to an external force like a gravitational pull of the Earth is also a type of translatory motion. Rotational motion. Circular movement of an object around a fixed point like these acrobats or like the Earth around its axis are examples of rotational motion. Periodic motion. Movement repeated in equal intervals of time to complete one cycle of motion is a periodic motion. The way a swing or a rocking chair moves is a great example of a periodic motion. Learning about the types of motion will help us understand how the forces act on them. There are many types of motion, but three of them are the most common ones we can observe around us. Translatory motion, rotational motion, periodic motion. In our next episode, we'll take a look at what force is. Oh no, you again. If you like this video, click below to subscribe to our channel and visit our website for more information. Curious Mind TV, appetizers for the curious mind.